Hi, it's me, Rachelle, here for the 411 Mamas. I am here today to present to you a little quiz that I found in my uh, newspaper, in one of my newspaper inserts. Don't know if you get this, but um, we get this little parade insert. You can see the cover says, The Secrets to a Happy Family. And that really intrigued me. Um, it's actually, the quiz inside is based upon a book by a Bruce Filer, and I'll put the link and information down below in case you're interested in reading. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually just sort of excerpt um, uh, seven, seven questions, seven out of the 19 questions from this quiz that they put in here that I thought were really interesting. Um, most of them kind of surprised me, the answers, um, and they might surprise you as well. So um, I'm going to put the multiple choice um, listings and then see how you do and then I'll let you know the answers and then we can hopefully have some sort of discussion and find out if you agree or disagree in the comments down below. So here we go with question number one. The answer is B knew the most about their family's history. When kids know where they come from, they know what their parents have been through and gone through, then they understand a little bit more about themselves. We have highs and lows, we have ups and downs. Um, they can see that people bounce back, you know, you fall, you get back up, and uh, it gives them a stronger sense of self-esteem. I think in that sense, um, answer B makes a whole lot of sense. The answer is B, false. Give them the opportunity to figure out what the value of their money means. They'll learn eventually. And better for them to make mistakes with, you know, a small allowance versus a large inheritance. This one surprised me. Um, the answer is B, and that is for parents to be less tired and less stressed. It does make sense that kids would want to see their parents less tired and less stressed. I think um, stress and everything can um, can uh, spill over into other things. So, you know, when you're tired, when you're stressed, you probably don't want to spend a whole lot of time playing and running around and, and doing all those things. So being less stressed and being less tired um, will enable you as a parent to to be able to be um, be there, like entirely be there in mind, in body, and um, in your spirit. Uh, you'll be able to be there and be there for your kids. And the answer is D, all of the above. Um, certainly, we want to spend as much time with our families, eating together, talking together, uh, being together as a family without distractions. This one was actually a fun one. The answer is B, let the kids choose the punishment. Totally makes sense now that I think of it. Um, you know, it really gives the children the opportunity to think about what they did, what it, what was it that they did. So being able to give them the opportunity to choose their um, their punishment or their consequence will, um, will be able to uh, empower them and give them a sense of ownership and really think about what they've done. Hopefully that will um, decrease the likeliness of them doing it again because they can see how grave <laughs> an error they made or a mistake they made. So um, let the kids choose the punishment. You know, you might have to compromise in the end. Some people, some kids can be really hard on themselves. Other, others may want to get out of being punished and they choose something not as, um, it, it doesn't match the, uh, <laughs> the, the crime, I guess you could say. But, um, yeah, so think about it, talk about it, and uh, you guys can come to some sort of compromise with your kids. And then really the important thing is that you're talking about what they did, um, why, we can make better choices and uh, what would have been a better choice. So uh, let the kids choose the punishment. This one was interesting also. The answer uh, we have here is before you discuss it. So you want to um, you want to lay out your opinion and your vote before you discuss it. Why? Because um, oftentimes a lot of people can be more persuasive than others and you know other people are less likely to um, to really say how they feel once everybody's put their points out there. It does make sense for you to go ahead and say how you feel ahead of time. That way you can really listen to each other when the other person is explaining 
why it is that they voted a certain way. Just discussion. It's, um, it's something that we all have to do. We have to learn to communicate properly and, um, and not to keep things inside. So, uh, yeah, put it out there. Put your vote out there before you discuss it and see where that leads you. And the answer is B. This is one of those questions where I thought it was the other way around, but um, uh, this is important. I mean, certainly we need to do both. We need to be there for our partners when um, things are not going quite right and things are going to um, th are being difficult or things are difficult. But we also need to be there to celebrate achievements and milestones, and not just saying, "Hey, good job, great job," you know, you did a good job, but being specific and making it mean something. What is it about your partner um, that, um, what, what talents specifically um, are unique to them that uh, played a really big part in, in them, in, in their achievements, in their accomplishments. So um, it becomes personal and not just generic. So um, I hope I have given you a little bit of food for thought. That is the last of my question for this little mini quiz. Um, that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching the 411 Mamas, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.